Welcome. In this video, we will go through some of the key pages within IQ Football powered by StatsBomb. Starting off here, we're looking at the player overview page for quarterbacks, and we're looking at USC quarterback Caleb Williams from this last season. The player radar in the top left shows you the player's overall performance in key statistical categories relative to the average for his position shown in the purple. So obviously Caleb Williams had an excellent 2022 season uh, exceeding the national average in all key metrics contained within the radar and in some cases clearing the league average by a wide margin. Off to the right here is where you can see some of those metrics, many of which are contained in the player radar. And the two charts down here at the bottom are very informative for quarterback play. The one on the left shows not only where each target went across the field and the result of the pass, but also where the quarterback was behind the line of scrimmage when he let the ball go. Being a mobile right-handed quarterback, we would naturally expect to see quite a few more pass attempts from the right side of the field from Caleb Williams than from the left side of the field as this chart bears out. And then over here to the right is our pass placement chart, which shows you relative to a receiver center mass where he puts the ball on his guy, so to say. And this, this view uh, really allows users to get a sense of where a guy's miss tends to be. So for Caleb Williams, that miss tends to be high and right, which would be problematic when throwing in-breaking routes to the left side of the field in this area, where we would expect there to be a safety over the top more often than not. Whereas missing high and right along the right sideline isn't nearly as deadly to offenses as it's most likely to result in a simple incompletion, which is why it's maybe not ironic that USC Caleb Williams have attempted way more passes to the right side of the field than to the left side of the field field evidenced by uh, the passing chart when turned onto heat map mode here. Moving along, a key piece of functionality within the player stats table that coaches are very excited about is this NCAA transfer portal toggle, which can allow users to simply look at, you know, lists of players that are actively in the portal right now. So say that we were looking for a, uh, a deep threat at receiver. Uh, we could sort this by average depth of target and get a sense of which players have been targeted deep down the field. Uh, likewise, maybe uh, a team lost a slot receiver to the transfer portal and is looking to replace him. You could sort this by slot percentage to get an idea of which guys have primarily been slot receivers over the past and could best you know, fit the needs for your team. And then finally here, uh, wanting to highlight the player radars for offensive linemen who typically don't have many metrics around them uh, compared to other positions on both sides of the ball. Uh, our radar shows uh, pressure rate allowed and sack rate allowed on pass plays and one-on-one -on -one percentage, how often the player is in one-on-one -on -one pass protection. So Bobby Haskins here in one-on-one -on -one pass protection quite a bit, but he did yield quite a few pressures and sacks this last season. In contrast, however, USC uh, ran behind him quite a bit this is how often uh, he was the key block or the seal block or the down block, um, you know, with, with the running back going behind him. So how often was he the key block and how did the team do when he was the key block on the play? Yards per rush, rushing success rate and chunk rate percentage of plays going for 15 yards or more. So we see here that USC had a tremendous amount of success when running behind him in contrast to his weaker passing metrics. Couple of these strong rushing metrics with him rarely ever taking a part in a tandem block on running plays, which is what this double team percentage represents. And he truly was a mauler in the run game, uh, even though he struggled in pass protection and turn on the league average button here to kind of show that. And this is the type of visualization that can allow coaches to profile players in a way that they've never been able to before, especially for positions like offensive line.